Hello, Michelle. How are you doing today? Lindsay, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good, Michelle. I have a quick question for you to start off the episode. Okay. What is it? So are you a person that likes to wish on shooting stars or oh. birthday candles, maybe anything like oh. that? Oh, well, actually recently there's this, um, there's this little pond, uh, where, where I am and my kids like to throw coins oh, in yeah. it. And, <laughs> but we, we always have to explain, I mean, the little one is really too little to make a wish, but the bigger one is, you know, he just keeps on telling us his wishes and you're not supposed <laughs> to do that. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. So I haven't made too many wishes recently, but I know that's always, remember, uh, did you ever do when the clasp of your necklace came around the front? Did, oh, did you ever that sounds wish? vaguely familiar. It sounds vaguely yeah. familiar. And I think there were some other superstitious moments, oh, right? Yeah. Um, sure. yeah I, I, I remember always wishing on birthday can like before blowing up. Oh, well, the birthday. of course. And I took it so seriously as a kid too, right? I, I take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. That must be a global thing. I bet our listeners are, you know, do that too, as they blow out their candles, making a wish very common. So yes. Yeah. Yes. What are we getting into today, Michelle? I'm excited. Yes, this is going to be fun. So we're going to answer a listener question about wishing or hoping for something. And it's it, 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 the difference of, well, we'll tell you about it in a second. We'll get into it. The, yeah, we're going to get into it because this is a good one. Um, but first, we want to share something with you that we are really, really excited about that we know is going to take you to the next level in your English. Yeah, I mean, I know that a lot of listeners are wishing for another step once they finish their B2 course or another challenging course like Business English. Many of you guys are ready to level up to C1. And that is what yes. we are announcing. Now we are building yeah. and we're going to have our brand new C1 fluency course available in November, early November. All right. So it's yeah, coming in great. just a few weeks. You are going to see the connection method, which means we interview real native speakers, and then we bring you lessons based on what they organically say right. in these conversations. Michelle, that is the key difference, right? Organic well, yeah. English. It's natural. It's spontaneous. Yeah? Exactly. That's how we like to do it here at Allers English. We really mm -hmm. love having these natural native conversations and then pulling things out from there that's going to help you with your level, right? We're not writing everything beforehand yeah. and saying, you should say this, you should yeah. say this. And that's how we like to do it here because that's real life. That's real English. Yeah. We want you to be ready when you're out on the street or yeah. at work or in a conference to hear the real English. So guys, go over to allearsenglish.com slash C1. This will put you on our list. So you will get an email. You'll be sure to get an email this, you know, the second that this course becomes available. Again, it is a brand new course. No one's ever seen it before. So get ready. Allearsenglish.com slash C1. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, so Let's get into the listener question. Um, I can read it. Okay. This is from Marsha. So thank you, Marsha, okay. for this question. Marsha says, hi, no words can express my gratitude for always answering my questions. Well, I'm so glad you, you write great questions, Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I would appreciate it if you could get to the difference between I wish and if only. Ooh. I'm not positive, but I feel like it if on, it only implies feelings of pity or hopelessness. Love, Marsha. Well, great question. Mm. This is a really good one that we're going to really dive into here. What do you think about this, Lindsay? This is a great one. Then this feels like a B2C1 level skill because these are very nuanced differences between yeah. I wish and if only. But at a certain level, you do want to start to be ready to know that difference and intersperse these, right? We don't want to always say the same thing. So we'll get into it today. All right. Yes, Good. exactly. Exactly. So the funny thing was, uh, this came up naturally in a conversation I had and I thought, I have to remember this. I have to remember this so I can say how it came up in my real life. Yeah. But of course I thought, oh, I'll remember it. There's no way I'm going to forget this. And of oh. course I did forget it. And I thought to myself, if only I had written it down, if right? Only. If oh. only I had written it down. So anyway, let's get into it. We're going to start with, I wish. So the whole idea is about wanting something alternative to the reality. So mm -hmm. this could be something in the present and the future 
even in the past, right? So yes. a wish for the past is usually kind of a regret, right, Lindsay? Right, right. And that felt like a regret what you just expressed with if yes. only too, right? So they're very similar, but we're focusing on I wish here. So yeah, wanting something different than what actually is happening. Right, 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 yes. right. Exactly. Yes. So for example, of course, I think people think I wish I had a million dollars. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. This is what you wish in the present, right? So I want the million dollars now, but I'm actually using, I, I don't say I wish I have a million dollars, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a million dollars. So kind of a conditional format, right? I wish I had a right. million dollars. Um, right. right. So we use that past tense, right? Yes. yes, yes. Exactly. Mm. Or something a little lighter, Lindsay. What's another thing you could say? I wish I could meet you for lunch, but I have a meeting at 1230. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Very busy so with these meetings. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Very, very busy. So again, you're using that past tense even for something that you're feeling in the present. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. for the past, now let's talk about the actual past, this feeling of regret. Mm. Um, here we really use the past perfect generally. Mm. So more about regret. So Lindsay, what would be uh, an example of that? You could say, I wish I had written down his phone number, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Or I wish I hadn't lost that form. Yes. Um. <laughs> I'd like to go back in time and change something, right? right. Or in your case, you know, I wish I hadn't forgotten the conversation, right? right. Um, certainly yeah. you could say it that way too. Yes. Yes. My son is starting to regret things. Oh, um, interesting. Yes. So mm. he's starting to use some of these. Um, so for example, you know, he has a big dilemma. I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, what, I mean, but he's an ice cream lover like you, Lindsay. Uh, yes. I mean, big ice cream lover. And so his dilemma <laughs> is always, does he want ice cream in the day or does he want it after dinner? So I get that you know, dilemma. I totally get yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> because once I know. Well, because once we were walking around and it was a, it was a nice day and he had ice cream and then it was a beautiful evening yes. and it was after dinner and we were just walking and it just felt like this is an ice cream night. But yes. he had already had the ice cream and so <laughs> from then on he became very uh, very conscious of when in the day is he having his ice cream. So he'll say things like he even says oh i regret that i had my ice cream <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a valuable conversation to, i've had these questions at, i asked i've asked myself this too is it better to have it in the afternoon or the evening because after <laughs> dinner you're kind of full but then you go to bed on a full stomach but it's kind of fun in the evening getting ice cream because everyone is going lining up the lineup is the thing yes. right you don't want to just walk in you want to line up <laughs> <laughs> so you, we, we can all relate to this. <laughs> I get it. I get it. No, oh, I, yeah. I understand his dilemma too. I feel bad then. Um, so, so but cool. anyway, he might say, I wish I had, I had waited to get my ice cream. Yeah. So we're working on that kind of skill to think that oh. through. So, but that's where I wish. So now let's talk about if only. So if only there's very little actual difference in meeting in in meaning right yes. Lindsay, what do you what do you think no i agree with that right we're expressing the same core idea which is a regret and kind of an angst over that mm. regret right yeah. a little bit of angst right. going I on only, here yeah, yeah yes. a little bit of angst yes yes Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I looked around, I did a little research and most people seem to believe that if only is a little bit of a stronger feeling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What do I you think? think? True. You agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's true because there's a few situations here with our examples with I wish, like if I said, if only I could meet you for lunch. Yeah. Uh, it's a little uh, much. It's a little much. Like, <laughs> do you have something to say? You know, like, well, why? Right. Right. It's right. A, right. So I think in that scenario, I wish I could meet you for lunch is more appropriate. If right. only adds another level of emotion. 
Right, right, exactly. And it doesn't need to be sad emotion where you're going to be crying over it, but just this, ah, if only, what, right? It, mm -hmm. Or the word longing. There's a longing in there. Longing, right? Yeah. There's yes. a longing for, for being able to win the lottery and have a million dollars. Have you, have you ever seen that show? I actually saw this over the weekend because I was staying in a hotel. Um, the million dollar, like, uh, where they go house hunting after they win the lottery. Have you oh, ever seen yes, that I have. Yeah, I haven't watched it in a while, but I used to watch it. Yes, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It's like, I have all this money. What am I going to do? So a lot of people do wish to win the lottery, right? If only yeah. I had a million dollars. But it shows more angst, more, I really wish this were the case. I really wish right. it. I don't just wish it. I really right. wish it. Okay. Right. In, in, in my mind, I wish is a little bit more common. I, I think it also stands on its own, right? It, mm -hmm. it well, if only seems to me to be kind of an unsaid half of the wish, right? It's a little incomplete. So yeah. I wish I had a million dollars. Yeah. Sounds complete. To me, if you say, if only I had a million dollars, it's there's kind of this unsaid, okay, then what? It's yeah. All, yeah. It, it, yeah. I think yeah. that makes sense. You need to say a little bit more little right. more context. Like, mm -hmm. If only I had a million dollars, I could afford to buy, put a pool in the backyard, right? Yes. Yes. I think you do need to let, add just because it is so, um, it is a bit more emotional. So you may need to add a little more context, right? Right. Or if you don't, at least the person needs to know exactly. It, it, it's kind of thought of that they would know what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Now let's go over the past tense. So again, this is same idea. We just put it in the past perfect. Um, so if only I'd written down his phone number, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then that, that sounds pretty natural, but maybe there's an unsaid second part. If only I'd written down his phone number, I could call him up and offer them him the position. Right, 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 right. So we do just add a little more context. What do you mean if only, you know, I agree. Right. It doesn't stand alone quite as much as I wish. Um, yeah. But the, the most important th thing there is I think there's a little bit more emotion, a little more wanting of the thing. Oh, yes. Oh, he was only. so good looking. If only I'd written down his phone number, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> Do you ever see that where people have missed connections? I've like, seen that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always wonder what that was. But yeah, I guess that's just people in, like on Craigslist, you, you know, back in the aughts, that was a, a thing that people would write, right? Like maybe they met somewhere at a party or a club, right? Isn't yeah, that, but they didn't get yeah. that person's information. I just saw somebody put make a post about it the other day that they were really? looking for someone they met on the train. Yeah, I did. So it's still happening. But um, that's super interesting. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. When in doubt, this is my feeling, Lindsay, I don't know if you would agree. When in doubt, I would go with I wish. But yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think, you know, wait until you have a lot of experience with I wish, then move up to if only adding color. Yeah. Again, this is part of our C1 course, how to add yeah, color right. to your language by adding something like if only, but start with I wish. It's just more right. objective. It's something is this way. I wish, I wish it were this way. Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Michelle. So I'm let's thinking do... we should go to the role play. What do you oh, think? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's or go do to you the role think, play. Or do, you, or do we have time um, for a few see, more examples? We... Yeah. Let's go to the role play. I love that idea. Okay. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> so Michelle, here we just got a bill for a big lunch party that we have thrown for maybe friends or family or something. Yes. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. All right. Here we go. Wow. I wish I had known how expensive this place was. Didn't you look at the menu? Yes, but I didn't realize I kind of went overboard. If only I had double checked with you on the budget, I could have decided on a different place. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Thanks for understanding. Are we on for the exercise class later? I wish I could, but I have class tonight. Oh, okay. If only the class were on Fridays, we could both go. I wish. Yeah. Oh, has that ever happened to you, Michelle? You you go to a restaurant, you don't really pay attention to the menu, and then you come out yeah. two hours later with like a three hundred dollar bill. <laughs> <Like crazy. laughs> yeah. Things. Well, that happens to me a lot at the grocery store. I mean, we've talked oh, about the grocery yeah. store, but you 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 don't realize how much you're buying, and then with inflation yeah. and everything, and you go out and you think, how did all of that possibly <laughs> add up? Well, it took that number. It's true. You got to be careful these days. Oh my gosh. Um, so here we've used all of the constructions. So first I said, wow, I wish I had known how expensive this place was. 
So I didn't really mm-hmm. pay attention to the prices. We just kind of ordered. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. So you you regret, you, you yeah. regret that you didn't know it. And mm-hmm. then I said, if only I had double checked with you on the budget, right? So maybe you had a budget, but I didn't, I didn't know what it was. So I just kind of picked somewhere. Yeah. And then I said, <laughs> I could have decided on a different place. So, you know, I, I, gave more context there. Yes, yes. The communication fell through here. (laughs) Yes, it sure did. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then you said, are we on for the exercise class later? And I said, I wish I could, but I have class tonight. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I said, oh, okay. If only the class were on Fridays, we could both go. So, oh, I really wish I could go with you, right? Yeah. And sometimes it is interchangeable too, right? It's, you know, we, we could also say, I wish the class were on Fridays. We could both go. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, sometimes it. Re- I mean, most of the time, most I think of the it time, works it is. out yeah. pretty much either way. But we're, in giving you an idea, one over the other, I think that for me, the main takeaway for today is that I wish is probably the safest bet. I think this, um, yeah, just to get started, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And sometimes at the end, Lindsay, you said, "I wish," <laughs> and that's another thing. Sometimes we just say, "I wish," or "If only," right? Yes. Just by yes. itself. Yeah, and that could be even another episode. There are other ways to use that. I've heard people say, "Oh, you wish," but I guess that <laughs> expression's going out of style now a little bit. <laughs> a little old, so maybe we won't cover that. But we do have another episode to send our listeners to. Michelle, what okay. is that? I, Another one just recently asking the difference between two things like this episode was 2290, more likely versus most likely in English. So go ahead and listen to that one. Yeah. And what's the takeaway for today, Michelle? What should our listeners think about as they finish up? Yeah, well, this is huge for connection. And there it doesn't always have to be about something big like, oh, I wish I had majored in this subject yeah. or I wish I had gone into a different field. It could just be something like Oh, I, I wish they had, uh, I, I wish they had orange sorbet here <laughs> or instead of chocolate or I don't know. It could yeah. be something light. It doesn't have to be heavy wishes. It doesn't have to be about the shooting star. And so these things are just talked about all the time in daily life. So a huge way to connect with people and definitely good for this C1 level. Yeah. It's kind of a way of showing your personality again. It's one of those yeah. episodes because Yeah. Let's say you go to a place that has a very limited menu and you wish that you saw other options on the menu. You know, you wish there was a vegan option, for example. Right. Right. You could show your preferences in life and the kind of person you are by saying what you wish existed but Ah. doesn't exist. Right. Yeah. Very good point. Very good point. So definitely try these out today and let us know how it goes. And we hope all your wishes come true. (laughs) Sounds good. All right, Michelle, you have a nice day. I'll I'll see you soon. Back on the show. All right. right. Bye. Bye. 